Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Logic. The fallacy of division is the topic of this video. Now, it is also a fallacy of grammatical analogy, like the composition fallacy, which means that it occurs in an argument that is grammatically similar to other non fallacious arguments. The division fallacy is committed when the arguer wrongly transfers an attribute from the whole of something onto the parts of that thing. The following illustration will provide an example. Cindy, you know, you made me dinner last night. Let me make dinner for you tonight. Okay, that sounds great. Well, what's your favorite food? To be honest, I really like lemon meringue pie. Okay, no problem. Dinner's at six. If she likes the pie, then she must like the ingredients also. A cup of flour, a couple of eggs, a lemon. Put it all in a bowl and cover it with whipped cream. Here, try this. Ew, that's disgusting. Hmm. Well, let's take a closer look at what just happened. Frank argues that Cindy likes the whole, the lemon pie. Therefore, Cindy likes the parts, the flour, eggs, and lemon, etc. But just because Cindy likes the whole does not mean that she likes the parts. Therefore, Frank's argument is fallacious. He has incorrectly transferred the attribute of being liked by Cindy from the whole onto the parts. Now, to distinguish the division fallacy from the composition fallacy, remember that division goes from the whole to parts. You see, it's divided. And the composition fallacy goes from the parts to the whole. It's composed. Also, here's a key thing to remember. If an attribute is transferred from the whole to the parts, and vice versa, and it's done correctly, then it's not fallacious. For the fallacy to occur, the transfer must be improper, like this one. Now, to sharpen your critical thinking skills, see our other videos on logic. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.